I'm really sorry I didn't post a video last week. Um, I filmed a video and I like meant to edit it, but things got kind of crazy with midterms and all that stuff, and somehow I just forgot to do the thing. So I'm really sorry about that. I swear I didn't forget about you, forget about you, because I made a video, but I just didn't, just didn't do anything with it. Super. So last week was my fall break um, from like Tuesday afternoon to yesterday. So that was really nice. I got to go hang out with my grandparents and they're like the coolest people ever. And on su or Saturday, my aunt and uncle um, took me like hiking and stuff before they took me back to school. And it was just really fun and really relaxing and super, super nice. Consequently, I got to do a lot of knitting. Um, so I made considerable progress on the blanket. Um, I got to the halfway point so I could start decreasing. I don't know if you guys are getting the idea of what it's supposed to look like now, but you know this is like the corner. So the other half is going to be green um, and it's exciting because it's getting easier because there's less stitches now instead of increasingly more and that's really nice. Um, at the widest point I think I had like 103 stitches or something. So got pretty out of control, but I'm really excited that we're in decreasing mode, and hopefully this part will go faster um, than this part. We'll see, I guess. I don't know. Cat blanket! For the theme this week, um, I really wanted to talk about Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, because we haven't done that yet, which is weird, because we always talk about Harry Potter stuff when it happens, um, but we haven't talked about this, so um, I want to know what you all think about Fantastic Beasts. Um, I was really surprised when I heard about it um, because it felt like an April Fool's joke except it wasn't April. I was like this is not real because like of all the things you could think of them doing like to make more movies, picking Fantastic Beasts is like so far off my radar like that's like probably the last thing on my list that I would be like oh yeah they can make a movie out of that. So it was just I feel like it came out of left field but that doesn't make it not exciting. If Joe Rowling's behind it, like, pretty much sign me up. I would follow that lady into a dark pit. I would, like, jump off a bridge for her if she asked me to. So, yeah. If J.K. Rowling's behind it, I'm good. Like, I think it's gonna be awesome, but, um, yeah, it's just really weird and exciting. And I hope we get more news soon, because it's been a while, and we haven't really heard a lot. I mean, obviously, maybe not much is happening, but... I, I don't know, I'm just excited and confused. That's pretty much my emotions towards Fantastic Beasts. I also want to know who you want to see cast as Newt Scamander. Um, I was pretty much ruined by Tumblr because someone suggested Nathan Stewart Jarrett, who was on Misfits. He was the guy who could travel back in time, you know, who was the runner. Um, and I think he would be perfect. And so now I can't like picture anyone else as Newt Scamander and that is upsetting because it's probably not going to happen. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm still open, but I really have my heart set on Nathan Stewart Jarrett now. Um, someone also suggested Colin Morgan, and I think that would work out, but he's probably really tired of playing eccentric wizards, so I can't see that happening either. But it'll probably be, you know, another out of left field thing, surprise, no one we've ever heard of, which is, would, would be great too. I'm excited to see a new person. Um, I hope we get young Dumbledore, and I'm really excited for wizards in 1920s New York City, like, it's basically Magic Great Gatsby, and that's it's pretty much great. I can't think of anything else I would want out of a new Harry Potter world movie. So let me know what you think about Fantastic Beasts. Um, if you're a subscriber and you're watching this video, you can leave your ideas in the comments. That would be great. Uh, I'd, like, I'd love to hear what you're excited about. And yeah. New Harry Potter stuff! What is this, 2007? Where are we? In an astonishing turn of events, Michael was the only one to make a video last week. Um, so sorry, Michael, we left you hanging, but it was great to see your face. Um, and I'm excited that you're knitting a cool hat. It didn't look that big, but, you know, sometimes it feels different than it looks. So, yeah, I'm glad it turned out good. It looks great. Um, and yeah, I'm excited that your roommates are watching, that's funny, um, but I hope they're not giving you too hard of a time, computer glare. But yeah, um, I miss your face, and I feel like it's been forever since I've seen you, but that's only because it's been forever since I've seen you in real life, and that's a little upsetting to me, but, you know, maybe sometime soon, at Christmas or Thanksgiving or something, we will get to see each other, that would be great. 
everyone else, I heart your faces and I miss you, so I'll make videos this week, hopefully. Um, we'll see if we can get it together enough for a week for us to all make videos. That would be great. Um, next week is Halloween week. Wait, yes, no, yes, next week is Halloween week, so be prepared for a Halloween theme. Um, it's gonna be awesome. Halloween is a good holiday. I just watched... Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas last night and it was really great and I love that movie because you can watch it from October to November and no one can give you crap about it. If I watch Elf in July everyone's like oh that's really weird but you know whatever. I just like movies that make it acceptable to be excited about Christmas really early because you know I'm pretty much already excited about Christmas. Weirdo. All right. I hope everyone has a great week, and I'll see you next week for Halloween week. And I hurt you all. And goodbye. <laughs>